Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then hi, my name is Erica. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, I've recently seen this in the news. And I guess Candace Cameron Bure, who was in the show Whole House, she played DJ Tanner and she, I guess she did a lot of work with the Hallmark channel and now she's leaving the Hallmark channel to be with this other channel called the Great American Family Channel and it's caused a lot of controversy particularly because Candace Cameron is very conservative and she's been homophobic in the past and she'll be homophobic in the future unless she <laughs> works on not on not acting like that but anyway so first i i just want to say if she wants to be part of like if she wants to make movies where it's only st straight couples that's her prerogative i'm not saying she cannot do that but number one just because it's her prerogative doesn't mean people can't call her out on it and say that it's harmful and also Number two, the way she went about it and how she said that, oh, we, we're, like, working on just doing, like, traditional marriages, which is a code word for heterosexual, heteronormative marriages. And that's where there's harm is that she had to say that. And so clearly she that that was her intention so not only is she making this move for that so that she doesn't have to deal with the hallmark channel wanting to feature stories about gay characters but also she wants people to know that that's why she's doing this which is kind of like pouring salt in a wound being like yeah i'm homophobic look at me and like that's toxic and so i just wanted to talk about that because you're allowed to want to be a part of something like that of course i cannot st stop you nobody can stop unfortunately i cannot stop you from being a, a bigot but I can have an uh, uh, opinion on it. And I think that's what a lot of people don't realize about free s s speech is just because, y yes, you have free speech, but so do other people. So you have free speech to spew whatever garbage you may want to spew. I mean, of course, just as I said that, I spit that that's kind of ironic but and and now I have lip gloss in my hair okay but anyway I I realize they don't see it as garbage <laughs> and normally I try not to call other people's opinions garbage but when you're creating harm to an already marginalized community then I'm gonna say it's garbage and I know Candace Cameron is one to argue that like she's a, a Christian and a conservative in Hollywood so she's marginalized. That's not how that works. Being from a marginalized group is much more systemic. It's not, oh, I'm the only white person in a room so I'm marginalized. And that's not what being marginalized is. It's systemic barriers and systemic attitudes towards people and there isn't a systemic thing like that towards conservatives and christians like i mean are we moving in a direction where we're trying to be like being conservative harms people yes 
because it does, but also being conservative is a choice. Being gay isn't. And before people have a cow over that, because I've had a lot of homophobic comments about, oh, it, it is a choice. Don't compare it to other identities, because unlike other identities, it's a choice. It's not a fucking choice. <laughs> Was this the first time I said fucking in a video? I, I don't know. Hopefully I don't get demonetized over that. But it's not a choice. But being a bigot is a choice. And it's something you can unlearn. Also, another thing I wanted to add. I was trying to load an article. It wouldn't load. Oh, well. <laughs> but, um. But another thing, she posted pictures of her and like the people from the Great American Family channel. And so far it looks like they're all white people. They, they all appear to be able-bodied at least. And of course, it's gonna only be like heteronormative stories. So not only is she being a homophobe, but she's also not in including other identities either at least not from the looks of it as of now but who will i watch these movies to see no i, I don't even like regular hallmark m movies even the inclusive ones no i have not watched the one with ali stroker because i think hallmark movies are kind of garbage but I still think they should be in inclusive. <laughs> so no, I'm not going to watch it because I wouldn't watch it even if it was this groundbreaking inclusive thing. But especially since it's not. And also I don't have cable, so I don't know where I would get it. But d don't, don't worry about telling me where to get it because <laughs> I do not wish to get it. Let me use that as an ex excuse. What's your excuse, Erica? Well, you see, I don't have cable. So just let me keep that excuse, please, so that I don't have to suffer through it. But anyway, and one video that I really liked on the topic of like Candace Cameron and her brother, her Cameron, who I didn't even know existed before I watched the video, but Fundy Fridays has a video uh, on the two of them, so I'll link it down below. And I know there has been some, there have been some things that Fundy Fridays has said regarding disability, specifically their Madison Hawthorne video that I've disagreed with the way that they portray disability as some tra tragedy. So I'm just saying I know that. So if you're like, if you want to comment that, like I'm aware, but I, I do hope that it was an oversight on their part and that and that they don't tr truly believe that disability is just this tr tragic thing. And, but I, and I also do understand that with uh, acquired disabilities, it's a big adjustment period and it can be really difficult for people. But I still think they should be made aware that that, and that that comment just kind of hurt because I, I'm a big fan of Hundy Fridays. I, I find both Jen and is it, I, I believe his name is James. I find them to be very funny and very educational. So I do want to keep giving them another chance, but I hope they can reflect on that. But anyway, I will link that video down below so you can check it out because there's a lot there that I didn't even know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you learned something or if you somehow enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already and you would like to see more of my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I hope 
to see you again next time. Bye.